brain fart. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Blessed Performance YouTube channel. Be sure to click like, subscribe, follow, check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. We got all the social medias in the, in the, in the world, I think. I don't know. There's a lot of them out there anymore. Give us a call, 1-800-577-2698, or check out our website, blessedperformance.com. Everything you see on our YouTube channel, we've either tested, ran, or have on our website for purchase. Recently, TurboTime came out with a new S474 non-VGT Turbo. Pretty different. Well, unfortunately, after 30,000-ish miles, hard miles on blue jeans, pulling trailers around the country to shows last year, I've been noticing some oil seeping up around uh, the charge air cooler pipes and boots in my truck. So did some investigating, found that although there isn't very much shaft play, we did blow a turbo seal, um, turbo oil seal. You can clearly see how nasty this is. She's been, she's been eating some oil for breakfast lately um, and lunch and dinner and all that good stuff. So we're gonna fix that problem. When I realized that, I decided, well, Turbo Time decided to make a new turbo. Why not give it a shot? Let's see what, see what it does. They've been raving about it, testing it um, with a couple of trucks, a couple of 6.0s for a single Valley charger, S400 charger. And uh, I, I thought, why not? Let's see, see how it performs. I've tried Bullseye. I've tried quite a few of them. I'm going to give you like, guys a little insight. Guess what? They all fail. Every one of them fails. This is built on a Borg Warner base. This is a Borg Warner. Turbos fail, it's just life. We work trucks. I don't know what to say, just that it, it happens, unfortunately. That being said, um, that's probably a $100 rebuild kit. Could go right back in. I could do it. I'm not going to right now. We'll probably do that for another video. I decided if I got an opportunity to upgrade, why not? So let's talk about the TurboTime Predator S474 non-VGT GXR7 Turbo. So this is designed for street use is what it is. There are plenty of great options you can order for the turbine housing, the turbine wheel itself. Um, generally, like they like to pair it with an 83 millimeter turbine with a T4 flange and a .90. So it's a tight turbine, but it's gonna spool great with that. Um, in testing, they've seen 750, 800 horsepower on several different trucks. I haven't got to test that yet. We'll get there. We'll get it on the dyno at some point. But we're gonna see how this performs more so, I'm more interested in towing capabilities. Most of you that know me and talk to me on a day-to-day -day basis know that really don't care about having the biggest, baddest horsepower number in the country. I care about a truck that works every day and performs well while doing that. I want it to be reliable. I tow cross country with my trucks, going to shows, pulling the dyno. We got 10 or 12 shows scheduled this year for the dyno, and I need my truck to be reliable. So that's what we're gonna find out here. We're gonna see what happens with this turbo. So I ordered it with an optional velocity stack and a 1.10 housing because it is a second turbo for me and a T6 turbine or a T6 mount. I still, I think if I recall correctly, we still have the 83 millimeter turbine in here. So it still should spool pretty fast, but I did go a little bit bigger housing because it is a second turbo for me. It's not my main charger. So it's gonna spool up after the Valley charger. So give us a call. If you've got any questions about this turbo and if it's going to work well for your setup, what you're doing with your setup, if it's going to be what sizing to pair with it for a compound setup or a single valley charger, we would love to chat with you. You can get it in a T6 or a T4 flange. It comes standard with an 83 millimeter turbine and this proprietary GXR7 74 millimeter compressor wheel. One more thing I want to show you guys is the velocity stack. Now, obviously this one's a little dirty, but you can clearly see the difference and how these are both designed. I don't know about you, but it looks like that velocity stack's gonna take some more air in, which is the goal. The more air in, the more air out, the more power you make, the more efficient the truck is. Wow, that thing's dirty. She's been cooking a little oil, if you guys can see. So, up next, we're gonna get it installed on blue jeans, and we're gonna put it to the test so you guys can know what it, how it performs. Primarily for us in a compound setup, that being said, if you reach out to TurboTime, they have tested it on a couple of 6.0s with an S400 and just a single S400 in the valley. And they say that those customers are absolutely loving it. Someday we might get there. Got to find the time to do that. But yeah, give us a call with any questions. Be sure to click like, subscribe, follow. Check us out on all the social medias. We have them all. Um, give us a call 1-800-577-2698.